Hi everybody, my name is Tracy Widman. I am the principal of McDowell Academy for Innovation and I've got two leprechaun helpers with me today. Olivia and Lydia. Olivia, say hi. Hi. Say hi, Liv. Hi. <laughs> They're going to help us with our story today. We are going to read a really great story and our story is about St. Patrick's Day. So if you've noticed today is St. Patrick's Day, look at what you're wearing. Are you wearing green today? Ah, these girls are wearing green, and hey, look at I've got green beads on, and I've got a green sweater on, and I am going to eat something green at lunchtime today. What could I eat that's green? Green grapes. I could eat grapes. What else could I eat that's green? Green apple. I could eat a green apple. You know what else I have? It's like green juice. Green. I could drink green juice, and I have some green yogurt. But we're going to read a book today, and this book is called The Night Before Saint. Day. I should have read this to you yesterday. Last night was the night before St. Patrick's Day. So let's look at the title, The Night Before St. Patrick's Day, and look at the picture. Can you see the pictures okay? What could this book be about? Does anybody want to guess what this book could be about? I do. Guess, tell me, what do you think it could be about? I think it's about people staying up late on the night before St. Patrick's Day, making their um, leprechaun trap. Oh, a leprechaun trap. That's a great idea. I'm going to turn my camera a little bit and you see I have a leprechaun trap that's made right here. Made one. A leprechaun trap. We'll look at it more in a couple of minutes. You know what you can do today while you're at home? You could try to make a leprechaun trap. So let's see. The night before St. Patrick's Day. We're going to look at some of the illustrations in this book and see what they look like. So let me see if I can get it so you can see it. What does that look like to you? What do you think it looks like, Lydia? It looks like a St. Patrick's Day leprechaun trap. Looks like a St. Patrick's Day leprechaun trap. Maybe she's correct. Let's get into the book and see. The night before St. Patrick's Day. And I want you to notice they have a calendar on here and there's a certain day circled on the calendar. What day is circled? The 17th St. Patrick's Day. The 17th St. Patrick's Day Tuesday. That is today. And let's look at this picture. We have a picture of a St. Patty's hat. Twas the night before St. Patrick's, the day to wear green. When we looked at our clothes, remember, we're all wearing green. Are you wearing green? Not a creature was stirring, except Tim and Maureen. Were you two stirring last night? No, I went to sleep. You went to yeah. sleep? Uh-oh, I think, I think Olivia was trying to trap a leprechaun last night. Let's see inside here some more pictures. You can see lots of things going on in here. Let me turn this so I can read it. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Can you make a shamrock today? Yeah. How do you think you can make a shamrock? With pipe cleaners. With pipe cleaners or with paper? What do you think is going to happen next? Mm, maybe they're going to set the trap up. Maybe they're going to set a trap? I'm going to turn this so you can look at this picture. Later they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. Why don't you look around your house or look around your room and see what shiny things you can find. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they find where he buried his big pot of gold. And let's look at this picture. Where do you think a leprechaun would hide his big pot of gold? Girls, what do you think? At the end of the rainbow. At the end of a rainbow? What do you think, Olivia? Under your bed. Under your bed. <gasps> You might need to check under your bed to see if there's a big pot of gold there. You know what's under Olivia's bed? A mess. I'm gonna turn it so you can see the picture. They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman would soon be theirs. So here's the pictures of the traps they built. 
What do you think they would do if they caught him? <gasps> they would steal his gold. They would steal his gold? Yeah. yeah. Then, then let him go back out in nature. Oh goodness, and we've got some, we've got our leprechaun trap here. You can see it. So we're talking about leprechaun traps and we have a leprechaun trap with us today. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of gold coins danced in their heads. So as they were nestled snug in their bed, they had visions of gold coins. Let me turn it so you can see it. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. What do you think's gonna happen next? <gasps> There's gonna be a parade. A parade in the house? No, outside. Oh, let's see if there's a parade. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Look at that. They're all wearing their PJs. What is Dad doing? What is he playing? Do you know what that's called? A bagpipe. A bagpipe. And I want you to notice something. I'm going to turn back so you can look this picture. Look at Dad's hat. What do you see on Dad's hat? It's a leprechaun. A leprechaun. leprechaun. Goodness gracious. Mom dished out green yeah. eggs. Did you eat green eggs this morning? No. no. And sang loudly along. What song do you think they could sing this morning? Do you girls have any suggestions? No. No? You don't have any suggestions? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here we got another picture. Let me get it right so you can see it. Oops, let me turn it. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, what do you think the clatter was from their bedroom? Leprechauns are making a mess to escape traps. Olivia says leprechauns are making a mess to escape traps. The kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. Do you think it's leprechauns like Olivia thinks? Do you think there's leprechauns? Uh-oh, Lydia wants you to see something on this page. Can you see? Let me turn it. What do you see on this page? What do you see down it's here? It's a leprechaun. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? What appeared? A leprechaun! A leprechaun. Hopefully. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. But a terrible mess. A leprechaun was here. I want you to look at this terrible mess. That looks like my room. Uh-oh. Olivia says it looks like her room. Does it look like your room? No. Oh, Lydia says, what about you? Does it look like your room? Is it messy like that? No. Do you think it's the leprechauns? Yeah. Do they make your room a mess? I'm going to turn this page so you can see it. Let's look at the picture. What do you think's happening? I see Tim has a magnifying glass in his hand. What do you think he's doing with it? Finding the leprechaun's teeny tiny, teeny tiny feet. Oh, and I see a doggy. What do you think the doggy could be doing? It's sniffing the leprechaun. Sniffing for the leprechaun. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish Quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor, which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. What do you think is going to happen next, girls? Um, they caught him. They caught him. They they catch him? No, no, no. He will vanish. Okay, so I hear they might. Maybe they're gonna catch him, or maybe he's gonna vanish. What do you think is gonna happen? It's either vanish or catch. Let's see. Here we go. We've got a picture. What do you think from the illustration? I see them smiling. I see the dog. He looks like his tail's wagging. Do they look happy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, let's see. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real life leprechaun. 
They both saw him wriggling. Can you wriggle where you are? Girls, can you wriggle? We got some wrigglers in the back. I've seen a leprechaun. <gasps> Lydia's seen the leprechaun. Well, was it under your bed? Is? No. Oh, you saw it his foot. Oh, goodness. Check this guy out. His eyes, how they twinkled. His body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes and looked like a cobbler wearing tiny fairy sized clothes. Oh goodness, what do you think the children are gonna do? Or what are catch they gonna him. say? Oh, catch him. Grab him. Grab him? What do you think? Liddy, what do you think? They're gonna catch him and grab him? Um, he might vanish. He probably. might vanish. What did they say earlier in the book that what do you have to do with his stare? You have to stare at him. You have like, to hold his stare. stare. Can you hold it. the stare? The no, children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X, right in your backyard. What would you do now? I would go find it outside, leave my but, sibling. Oh, but so I... Oh, so yeah, Lydia has yeah, a good yeah, idea. Yeah, she would I leave would her also, sibling to stare at I the leprechaun. Also. How come you would leave your sibling to stare at him? Because he might vanish if he's not. He there. might vanish. And then what are you going to do? If, what if, if he lied? lied? What if he lied? <gasps> what if he lied? What would happen then? Let's see what this leprechaun's done. Oh my god. Look at that picture. What do you see on the picture? There's every log has an X on it. He tricked them, that little stinker. But when the kids it. went outside with their shovel, their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a, a trick. trick. If you're watching this, how do you think he tricked them? Look at that picture really good. How did he trick them? He put X's on every rock. He put Look at X's those rocks. On every rock. He tricked them. Oh, here's our last page. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, to you and, and better luck next, next year. year. So did they catch him? No, no. he tricked no. them. He, he tricked, tricked them. them. So tell me what happened first in this book. I'm going to give you a minute. Remember, it's called the night before St. Patrick's Day. What happened first, girls? They built all. They built all the traps. They were up at night and they built all the traps and then went to sleep. They built the traps. What could you build a trap with? If you're at home, could you build a trap? Paper. 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 I want to show you this trap, and I hope I don't drop. I hope I don't drop the phone. Look at we have a trap here. I hope these dolls don't fall. Do you see no, this trap? Not. Tell me about this. What do you think that is right there? This is the ladder with the, the leprechauns go up. And then there's all these gems on the top where yes. they, in like clovers and grass, yeah. where there's they can clovers. see them and they'll believe it. And there's a doll right, there's a leprechaun like, child right here that says climb. climb. And then there's one right here that says climb. climb. Then, then there's a says slide. doll that says slide. But then, then he the gets trapped the at the bottom. Then there's a hole in the bottom to, to, so you can see if um, you caught him. So you can see they have a leprechaun trap built. So we they first started building a trap. What's the next thing that happened after they built the trap? They went they, to sleep. And they went to sleep. sleep. Let's see if Lydia was right. They went to the sleep. Leprechaun. So they decked out their house. Remember, they decorated really good for St. Patrick's Day. They made traps. Let's see what the next thing is that happens. They set their traps around the room. Can you see those pretty awesome pictures of leprechaun traps? And then they went to sleep. Lydia was right. What happens after they went to sleep? They woke up they woke and up tried to catch the, them. And the dad, uh -huh. the dad um, well, plays the, like the vocal. The bagpipes? Bagpipes and like they all sing and dance. Okay, so the dad plays the bagpipes and they sing and dance. What happens next? Before Lydia turns a page, see if you can remember. The dad plays the bagpipes and I remember. 
um, green eggs for breakfast. Mom makes them something really green, special for breakfast. Green, green eggs. eggs. And then they all start Would you eat? Singing? Would you eat green eggs? Not, I don't know no. if I would. But in the corner, the, there's this little leprechaun just staring at them eating. Oh, that little stinker. So after they eat breakfast of green eggs, what do they do next? Um, they they, they go, they hold a noise so they run to up to the room to see what it was. Oh, and they ran to the room to see what it was. Then what happened? They found the messiest they found room ever. The messiest room ever. And the Olivia leprechaun. says that looks like her room. The yeah, leprechaun was in the room. For making a, while, a mess. Making a mess. And it's, it looks like this now. And then what happens? How did the leprechaun trick them? He put X on every rock in their backyard. He, so he told them that he had something hidden where? In their backyard. In their backyard. Oh, Here, I'll tell you what it says. Okay, Lydia's going to end our book for us. Okay, she's going to read it. His the last eyes, bit. How they wrinkled, his body so tiny. Uh, do I read this page? Yeah, you can read okay. that page. His hands clasped it. A trinket so golden and shiny, he was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobble, cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. No tricky. No, Don't be tricky. No lies. It's buried under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an S right in your backyard. So how did he trick him? Do you remember? He took all those rocks and he marked them with a big X. And it says, but when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. And look at that. Do you remember how he tricked them? Did they end up finding a pot of gold? No. They didn't find a pot of gold. I'll tell you what, while you're home today, Maybe you can find some green things in your house. Maybe you can find some green things to eat for St. Patrick's Day. You could even eat green eggs if you wanted to. Even at the end of the book, it says, ha ha, I fooled you. Oh, he is a trickster, that little leprechaun. So why don't you, while you're home today, why don't you make a list of green things you could eat? And maybe you can try to build a, a leprechaun trap from things you have at home. That would be fun. I hope you have a great day. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye.